All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another Elevator Parts video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Houghton L Series. Now this is a very interesting fixture. Definitely one of the more simple, but yet very effective and interesting buttons I've worked with. Gotta love hot and elevator buttons, so let's go ahead and break this thing down and take a look at it. So, from the front here, we can see it has this very worn plate, but it definitely adds to the character of this button. On the bottom here, we can see this button has been pressed more than the up button. And just by a few obvious signs, we have some more wear here around the button, and the button itself is heavily damaged. You can see the arrow is kind of broken off in the middle there, the solid part. Top button still is in very good condition. You can see here it still has the entire arrow and it hasn't been worn too much around here. This is still a really neat button. So I mean, look at this thing, it looks pretty sweet. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a closer look. Oh, that happened. So turning this thing over, we can get a glimpse at how this thing actually works. And you can see here, there's not really a whole lot to it. It's actually quite a simple button. So let's go ahead and pull one of these off and I'll show you a little bit more of how these buttons are put together. And the way you do that, and you can see there's this metal plate here that's being held on with these two nuts here. Simply just have to pull those off and the button will come off. So here's the button removed from the plate here. And if we take a closer look at it, we can see how this thing is put together. On the side here, we've got this little spacer, which kind of actually separates the button from the plate. You can see the plate would sit around this little part here. So there's a little gap between there. If you look closely here, you can see how the actual contact is made. The little plastic piece there presses down on these metal bars here, and it completes the circuit right here. There's two contacts on each button. On the back here, we have the lamp socket, which goes across these two right here. So let's go ahead and pull this button apart a little bit more. So the cap here itself, you can see it doesn't actually come out on its own. The way you take it out, if you notice this little screw here and this little pin, if you loosen up this screw, you can pull this little pin back like so, and the little button cap will come out. And this is what the button caps look like on Hot and L series. You can see here, this is the part that you actually see, but there's a lot that goes down into the bottom here. And then there's, it's hollow in the middle so the light can go through it. Looking down into the button, you can see the actual bulb. Inside, there's just a small little incandescent bulb with the MB base on it. And looking down there, you can see the other piece of plastic that the button presses into. Now, in order to take a closer look at that, we're gonna have to pull more of this button off. So in order to take the button off, you first have to remove this plastic ring and if you just give it a nice good turn it will eventually come out it may take a little persuasion and a little force to get it to come off but it will eventually come off then once you remove that you'll notice there are two Phillips head screws here to remove this metal plate now one thing important to note is the screw sizes are different for the two pieces so make sure you organize your screws so you know which one goes where once those two screws come out you can remove the metal plate and here's the button itself. Now this piece actually broke off. So we're gonna repair that while we're fixing this thing up. So I'll just glue this back on here. But we can take a closer look. Here's the little pin. You can see it's pretty simple how that works. There's just a little metal piece down there and it just locks into this little groove right here. Pretty self-explanatory. In order to take the button apart, we have to remove that little pin because the screw that locks the pin into place is also holding the button together. So that, that little pin along with the screw comes out of the button there. So after you remove that little pin, you'll see the button is still being held together. And there's yet two more screws on the back of the button. First screw comes out here. There's a little washer in there to kind of hold it in place. And then if you just shake out the little metal piece here, that is what actually holds the button together. And now the other screw comes out and we can pull the whole button apart. So taking a look at the upper half here, you can see here is the little plastic piece which presses down on the contacts. Quite interesting here. Here's just the plastic frame. And the button would kind of lock in like this so it can't turn. You can see how it kind of does that. There's those little grooves there and it presses in here. So when you press in the button, it presses this piece into the contacts. And now for the bottom, you can see the two metal bars which make the contact. So these two press down, completing the circuit. And then right here we have our little lamp socket, which you can see is just a small little MB and it goes in there and twists in place. So here we have all the pieces of the button kind of spread out here on their own. You can see there's a lot of different parts to this thing, and it's kind of annoying to take apart unlike other buttons. So before we put this back together, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly glue this piece back on here just to kind of fix it up, and then we'll uh, put the whole button back together and we'll start wiring. Now another thing I wanna do before I completely put this button back together is I'd like to do something about this arrow. 
because you can see this doesn't really look all that good, especially having one button that's solid and one button that's just kind of like this. Now, I actually had another one of the buttons that's like this that was broken that had the piece missing, and I did some work to it. You can see here, it's not completely perfect, but I mean, just look at it. It definitely looks a lot better than this one. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I did to kind of fix it. It's really simple, actually, and hopefully we'll have another button that looks like this one. And then when we put it back into Andrew's fix, it'll look a lot nicer instead of having one arrow you know that's solid and one that's just kind of hollow like this so what I'm gonna do first is just place some tape on the edges here because we're actually gonna be putting paint into this here so I've added three pieces of tape here to protect the white part of the button and the next thing I'm gonna do is just add some black acrylic paint into here because this is all I have obviously there's probably better paint options for what we could do I'm just gonna add a little blob of paint in there just to cover it all up completely spread it around a little bit because we obviously have covered the white and then I'm just gonna use a small towel here and we're just gonna slide off the excess here just like that now it looks like a big mess here but we also have to realize there's tape on here so we don't really have to worry so the next thing we do is just let this dry and we should end up with something similar to this all right so the button in general is put back together now the bulb I pulled out of it here this is a GE 1843 and if we look very closely you can see unfortunately the bulb's burned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a brand new GE1847 incandescent bulb in here. And now we're going to place our button cap in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this in. So now we have a nicely restored button here we can use. And if we go ahead and add this back into the panel, you can see this looks a whole lot nicer than what we had to start with. So what we're gonna do next is secure the button down here. We're gonna have to get into this button to change the bulb on it, because my guess is it's dead as well. But then we're gonna wire this thing. Alright guys, it's done being wired, so let's test it. Look at that. It works, and it looks really nice. Alright, so there we go. We have successfully kind of restored this button, and we also lit it up. So now when you press it, they both light up, and it looks really nice. And I think the little uh, paint job we did here on the down button looks pretty good. I mean, you really have to look at it really closely to see the difference. So overall, I think this was a good project. It came out really nice, it was fairly easy to wire, and it looks really cool. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any ideas, stick them down below in the comments below, and we'll see you guys next time.